Hi guys, welcome back to CW Games. In today's video we'll be starting a new game on my channel. An RPG game which I fell in love with and just had to include on my channel. I first came upon this game when it's a free game on PlayStation Plus's monthly games. Absolute bargain really. Every review that I read about this game people are always comparing it to the Dark Souls games. But I've never played a Dark Souls game yet. I will be, as I know the Dark Souls anniversary is coming up later this year, so stay tuned for that. The game I'm talking about is called Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen was released in 2014 by Deck 13 for the PlayStation 4. It received mixed reviews, mainly being compared to the Dark Souls games like I said, but for me, I really enjoyed this game. Apparently, a sequel is in the works for the PlayStation 5. I'm pretty excited for that, and hopefully by the end of this playthrough you guys will be excited for that too. In the game you take on the role of Harkin, a released prisoner sent on a mission to stop a powerful and feared god and his demonic army's invasion of the world. Choice is something I really love about RPG games, and you really get that with this game. Choose your class at the beginning of the game, be a warrior, be a rogue, be a cleric. Level up certain attributes of experience points. Wield a variety of weapons. Wear weight affecting armor. And replay the game over and over with growing difficulties. Now I get a chance to share my love of this game with you. And I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, roll the titles. Splat. GI Games and Deck 13. I really love this title sequence. I really do. I think the music is also pretty epic and it's got that sense of adventure in it. I could listen to it all day. Okay, not all day. Right, let's get into this. Choose a new game. Now there's three ways we can start this off. We can choose Brawling and be a warrior. The art of brawling is to overwhelm your opponent with pure force and mighty spells. Or we can choose deception, which is rogue, deceiving enemies and injuring them beyond recovery. It's the main focus of deception magic. Or we can choose solace and cleric. Magic taught by scholars contains mostly defensive spells to heal and protect yourself. I'm going to choose brawling. Be a warrior. And the equipment setup. The standard gear given to pardoned prisoners recruited to the army. Seal armor plates will give the soldier exceptional defense at the cost of agility. Purpose built sword and shield will complement this set. Or we can choose the rogue set. Mostly worn by thieves and scoundrels, this leather armor allows for high mobility. A set of daggers, a symbol with very fast and deadly weapons. Book a shield, mostly used to counter attack the enemy, rounds off this kit. Or we can choose the cleric set. A set form of Forged by and for the Battle of Monks of the North, the balance between mobility and defense coupled with a formidable blunt weapon and high quality shield make this a solid choice for an all rounder. I think we're going to go for this. So we're a brawler. Brawlers never consider themselves too good for a fight. Whether they are starting it themselves or rise to the provocations, prop, did I say that right? Provocations of others. Okay, ready for this. Now, between the loading screens, well, in the loading screens, you get hints of how to play the game. Don't really pay attention to them. To any, to be honest, I guess I'm a pro. Ah, snow. I haven't seen snow for ages. Remote lands of prayer. And of God Mountains. And he is our hero. Kind of. Tarkin. Fallen God. Creator and destroyer of worlds. Hear my vow. <laughs> oh. Didn't like that. Nice. Ooh, that's a big hammer. That's how he's got now. Hear my vow. My vow of defiance. Ooh. 
Uh oh. That's a magic hammer. Miss me, miss me. Here I am. Oh, it's a powerful hammer, magic hammer. What is it? Keystone, Hand of God Mountains. A different time, a different war. The monastery's ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. One entrance. We got a monk. It's quiet. Too quiet. Even for a monastery. Hold on. Magic monk. Give us some light. Doesn't look too good. Something bad happened here. Who is going to do that? Okay. So the basics. Fighting a Rogar is quite a challenge. To learn the basics, approach the Marauder just ahead of you. Focus. The first rule of combat is focus. To focus your sensors and camera on the opponent, press R3 now. Notice the two brackets that appear around the enemy's HP and a sound cue. Blocking. The most intuitive way of not getting hit is to block. To raise your shield, you need to press and hold L1 now. And timing. Enemy behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like Marauder now. This is the perfect time window for a strike. Try a fast hit with R1. Okay. Chaining. Don't stop now. If you press R1 again, the next attack will follow on smoothly. Don't stop me now. Evasion. Evasion is also a perfectly viable strategy, but needs the right timing. Left and right, and press X. Strikes. Heavy strikes work similarly to fast ones. They just take more time in exchange for more damage. Ouch. Brisk. You can follow up the next heavy attack with R2 now. Go on, it's safe. The Marauder won't recover in time. Four. And management. The second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom of the screen is your energy. Keep tracking it while fighting. It regenerates, but most actions consume it. By the way, congratulations on your victory. Press X to start your adventure. All three bars at the bottom, health, red, energy, orange, and magic, blue, can be leveled up. Start our adventure. So all these things here, I purchased a um, expansion to get items and the DLC, download content. That's just all those things being added. Wow, nice graphics. It's a big monastery we're in. So, this is the save screen, the inventory screen, or the everything screen. So we can see all our items, our weapons, um, and we can level up here. So at the moment we've got a couple of hammers. We've currently got the Defiance hammer equipped. Daggers and swords being brandished by Harkin. 
And we have shield. Not that many. We've got the magic gauntlet. I think it's a bit of poser arcing. So, four parts of an armor set. Head, chest, gloves, boots. Trinkets. Uh, trinkets can level up certain stats, just like rings and stuff. Quest items kind of speak for themselves. And runes. So we have three small runes. You use runes when you meet the blacksmith later on to level up armor and weapons uh, with special effects. So it's quite useful for later on, but not for now. We can just collect them. But we've got our consumables. We have our health potions, magic, to store our magic, attribute points, and spell points, which you get by using your experience that you get from killing enemies, which I'll explain now on the character development. So we've got attributes. But this is our overall. Uh, so this is where we are now with everything. Level 10. And we've got the magics at the bottom here. Here's our brawling magic. We chose brawling at the start. We've got a spell point and we've got the faith requirement so we can level up the prayer to level one. Motionless clone but attracts enemy attention to give Harkin advantage. We can restore health too. We'll try that out I think. But we'll talk through the attributes. So straight away use our attribute points on strength. Really important to get strength up. Strength, increasing that increases your damage. Vitality is your health, the red bar in the bottom left, increasing that will increase your health and potion effectiveness. Faith is your magic, the blue bar, increasing that will increase your magic and magic damage. Endurance, increasing your endurance gives you the amount of energy, how fast you can run and you can carry more heavy gear. Agility, um, increasing that is damage with fast weapons like daggers. We won't be using that much because we're not going to be rogue, we're going to be, going to be cleric in this playthrough. And then there's luck and then these are audio notes. So throughout the game you collect audio notes that tell the background of the story. Um, there's quite a lot of them, but I'll try and show through my playthrough how to get them. Some you can only get on second playthroughs, so do my best. Let's talk to Kaslo. It's locked. You're still losing blood, Kaslo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Got a sense of humor, this monk. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. Okay. So far, I've seen only corpses, no survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. Maybe. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. Ah, nice thinking, Einstein. Yep, we need a key. <laughs> so over here is our first audio note. These things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like that? fire, death creeping up your nose. That's one of the one infected. Of the, infected. the saliva hit my eye. Burned. Ooh. It burns deeper into me. This hammer does a lot of damage. Yep, Harkin's definitely a poser. But he'd have his Instagram, wouldn't he? Ooh. Oh, item. So this is what items look like when monsters drop them. We've got another sealed room. That will come in useful for later when we can level up things. Sorry, bookcase. It is in me. Second and audio it is now. Changing me, my skull. The bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison. 
more like with darkness. We have seen that is what happens next. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother, Do something else behind here. Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death. Empty bottle. Or it chooses us. What could be useful for potions? I guess the more empty bottles we get, the more health potions we can have. Oh. Dear Father, the fires on the horizon, they are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil. No, not the wine. You could always seek refuge here. I was trying to the spare the wine. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please, be safe. So we've got a giant key. This must be the key we need to go through a giant door. Right, this is a challenge portal. There's about nine, I think, ten, I think, in the game. And every time that you defeat a boss, one of them opens. So we need to defeat the first boss for that one to open. Here's another Marauder. Ah, oh, yeah. Timber. Item here. And we're back to the starting area. We've got our key now. I've found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. Ah, oh, you think you're funny, Caslo. I could use some help. Here, yeah, this might be useful. Thanks for your support. It is appreciated. We'll go through these doors. Hmm, cutscene time. Something's gonna happen. Did I say I love the graphics? Uh oh. Caslo, fucking. Caslo went flying, didn't he? Hopefully he's all right. It's our first boss. First Lord. The Warden. He doesn't look too friendly. Get up, Harkin. Get up. Roll. Okay. We're gonna use our hammer with two hands. We can try and do a bit more damage. Got an opening. Go, 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 go. Every boss, every lord in this game has a certain strategy for killing it and causing damage. See if our magic's gonna do anything. This is the prayer that we upgraded with our spell point earlier. Seems to distract them. Right, we've got an opening. Go, 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 go. As I said, there's a strategy. This is the strategy. When they do that is the time to strike. Oi! Try it again. Oi! No, go for the thing, not for me. Oh. Sorry, Lord, I think I'm... Knocking over your pews here. Your benches. Sunday service might not happen, I'm afraid. Right, there's our strike. Okay, this way.
He's stripping in front of us. This magic thing. Oh, the music's picked up. It's getting more dramatic. This way. Go, 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 go. Get back up. shield uh, we broke his shield and he seems a lot worse now it's just him and his sword <laughs> seems a lot more angry oh we did it I think we're absorbing his power if we can do that, we probably can. It is an RPG game, things like that do happen. There's water. What was that? One of those lords Kazlo keeps talking about. Against all odds, so we didn't get hit. Yay! And that's a lord. So because we killed it in a certain way, without getting damaged, we got the Persistence, which is one of our special weapons. Special weapons are orange in the text, so great sword being in orange. Try and collect as many as we can during my playthrough. So this is your save shard screen. The experience you earn for defeating enemies remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more you carry, the higher reward drops from fallen foes. So if you don't want to lose what you currently have, bank it in these safe shards. Which we will do now. So, yeah, we just saved, which was that helpful. I'm going to use our experience from the monsters we've killed to get some attribute points. I'm going to use our attribute points on our strength. As, like I said, I think it's important to get strength up. This is where Kaslo went. Kaslo. Kaslo. Damn it. Yep, we need to find Kaslo. If he's alive. Northern Wing. Ah. Surprise! Many ways to defeat the deal increased damage. Yeah, I think we've done a quite few of these surprise attacks already. Find it rather behind an enemy. Right. Okay, time for our moment. Oh, Haki looked like he enjoyed that. Ha, missed me. Hey, what do you know? Banishing the god. The three men that were known as the judges parted Chess. ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. So we've got the warrior armor set, all four parts, displaying the distinct parts full set. taken. These statues hold a secret, as if it were their heart, but it is retained by oh, the stone. Marauder. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat. Shard of heroes. And only an unearthly force could tear it out. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to get strength up for now. More damage. It'll fall down easier. Oh, he hit the sack early, didn't he? Yes. A monk staff. We've got a present for Kazlo when we meet up with him now. Have a lie down. 
What do you know? We can't stand against such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. Nice art. A place with walls and soldiers. Mighty Antanas. We will be on our way. Please prepare I for don't. a few dozen refugees. We jump that. Yep. Northern Monastery Wing Door Key. Two enemies here. Oi. I love the way the enemies just fall onto the environments around them, like chests and walls and stuff like that. What exactly were the lords? They wielded power beyond our understanding. They fought fiercely and they blindly followed the god. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them, failed. The lords did not come for discussion. They came to serve their purpose. To lead the Rogar army against the humans. Okay, so we're backtracking so we can use this key that we've picked up. Secret way here. Through the curtain, through the looking glass. Ah, there's a moose on a loose. Jump over here. This is where we use the key. The Shard of Heroes. This is what the audio was talking about. Special item. What is it? Whatever this object is, it can be used in multiple ways. One of them is bound to an old legend that the reason why three hero statues were erected within Keystone was on out of tribute for a decoy and ended up hiding something very valuable. The other is obvious. We may get to use them later. But we defeated the first boss, didn't we? So that challenge portal should now be open. Let's go to it. And here we are. There's three different types of challenge portal. Treasure chest, void, and battle arena. And because there's like 10 portals into all together, you, sometimes you get more than one. So there'll be three portals for treasure chests. Ooh. Our first trinket, Faithful Disciple, an acolyte's par paraphernalia? Let's see with these words. It used to be common within the ancient group of Northern Friars. So it regenerates spellcraft powers. Regenerates our magic. I'll have that. That's all we've got at the moment for trinkets. But it'll do. We're a cleric anyway. Oh, new sword. No, new shield. Not sword. Bulwark. Shield. Which we can't equip at the moment. Because our strength is not high enough. We need to level up that strength. Even higher. And some energy shards and runes and general items. Now when you go in and out of a challenge portal, the enemies in the world will reappear. So this is a good tip for grinding uh, for XP. You can go in and out of challenge portals and monsters will reappear. You see? So we can, we can do this. We can just grind and level up our attributes to get higher strength and other attributes. I think we're just gonna fight all these monsters and head out to the monastery Gonna spend all day here. But you could. Just a tip. Timber. Ooh. Try and save the wine this time, shall we? Oh. 
Oh well, it's not meant to be. Oh, slow mo. Nice. Oh, I jump. Fire resistant shard. Might come in useful. You quite finished yet? Thank you. Oi, off, 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 off. What you doing? You need an appointment to kiss me. No, you don't. Anyone was confused. I was confused. Oh. oh. Sorry, Lord. Sorry about your pews earlier. experience to get more attribute points. Here's our strength. And let's continue to head out of the monastery. I think I'm gonna try and keep having a hammer. You know, hammers just do so much damage. And plus it's the style of the cleric, isn't it? Big shield, big hammer. That's what we chose at the start. It's pretty cool. Alright, you're gonna hit the sack this time? Nope. Hit the fireplace instead. Just throw yourself into the fire. Hey, okay. we're done here. There's two more. And we can make our way out. Here is done. Hey, set it out to the castle walls. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I appreciate all your feedback and support, and I read all of your comments. If you're new to this channel and you haven't already, you may be considering subscribing if you like my content and you want to see more. Also, don't forget to click that pesky notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.